Hi guys, Rich from Art of Smart. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So this is actually part of our podcast slash factory tours that we're doing. And we're over at Birch Valley Plastics today in Plymouth. So I've actually got Andy and Kieran with us today. So because we've been down in Cornwall uh, doing one of our projects, I was on our way back up north. Um, I said to Andy and Kieran we could come and have a look. So Now Birch Valley Allen is part of the show group. Yes it is. It's yes. correct. And I'm joined with Alan, who is the works manager here. And he's been at this site for 26, 26 years. years. Yep. I'm part of this business for even longer. And then he's going to go through and show us what got the factory yep, today. Let's go through and have a look. But before we do, before yep. we do, I'm sure you've noticed the backdrop. Check this. Check this for a factory tour. And Alan's office upstairs has a lovely view out of this. So Alan basically gets paid to sit and look out the window yep, all day. All day, that's I'm what sure, I do. I'm sure not quite. <laughs> let's go, pal. So this is it. Yeah, this is the factory. Um, various um, machinery. Um, we've got the marker line, which we're going to have a closer look at in a minute. This section over there is a heat shrink section, an injection motor there. And down that end, we've got the extrusion section. So, so let's have a look at the marker line. Yeah. So this marker line here is actually the eye dents that we use on the lighting panel. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we've um, got a basic PVC extruder. Um, we use PVC compound and we put a pigment in it, what we call a master batch to get the colour. This is brown, so we're doing a brown marker at Which the Which is number one. Yes, yes it is. Colour <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So again, it's a combination of heat and pressure, mm -hmm. pushing the molten plastic through the tool, mm -hmm. and then we've got a tool there that will form the actual uh, shape that we want. Nice. All right. So we do lots of different types, different sizes, and we're looking at expanding our range in the next couple of months. Um, pull through on and all off, then in through a hot foil printer, which prints the character. So, you know, like you said, number one, there we've got. All right, so it's just hot foil, the wheels heated up, and that prints well, onto the it. Um, and we cure it by heat. So basically it seals in the print. It's rough there and it's quite smooth when it comes off there. Into another all off and then through to the cutter, right, which is, um, we've got a camera set up to cut her to make sure we keep the image in sync so that the material cuts in the right place mm. and we're not having missing characters or half a character. And then the finished product, or I say, unpacked finished product. So the numbers on there. Nice. Yeah. So that's the marker line. We've got an injection motor here. We do oh, marker cast. This one's off the press. Yeah, off the press. So again, you know, it's a little bit um, similar to extrusion, but rather, you know, rather than extruding, we're putting um, we're putting pressure in to uh, mold the mold the part. What we're uh, manufacturing here is um, heat shrinkable polyolefin. Um, this is. Um, a 51 mil, so we extrude it at 26 mil, and then we expand it using heat um, and pressure up to 51 mil. Um, if you look inside here, uh, this this is a hot a hot tube here. Basically, it heats up the plastic, makes it a little bit more pliable. Mm -hmm. So when it comes through to the actual tool, the sizing tool, which is probably a little bit difficult to see, all right? It's up to the proper size, right? Uh, and we get this. And then we Massive get this. Massive heat shrink. Yeah, it is. That's a big old boy, is yeah. it? So this is, um, we do we do a couple of bigger sizes, a 76, and then we do a 10164 inch. So, and um, this is polyolefin, so it's a little bit, uh, we also do um, PVC heat shrink, so the same similar sort of sizes. Same um, principles? Yes, exactly the same principles, but this has to be sent away for irradiation to cross-link it. Another heat shrink machine. Um, we call this product HST 6.4. All right, this is a PVC clear heat shrink. Yeah. All well, right. that just spits you out when it knows where to go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah we, we know the other thing as well. When it falls in a figure of eight, we know the size is right as well. Mm -hmm. So we're now in the extrusion area of the factory. Um, this material is HST 19. 
this will be going up to the heatsink area, probably to be expanded tomorrow. Yep. So we extrude this at an ID of about nine mil, and then we expand it up to anything between 19 mil and 23 mil, really? depending on what the customer wants. We tend to run um, a lot of our products at high speeds, typically on a green and yellow, 120 meters a minute. Um, so we make a little bit of scrap, but all the Just scrap, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Um, I mean, this is probably about six months worth of scrap. Yeah. So what we do with the scrap, when we've got this compound line available, we put it through the compound line and we turn it into black PVC, which we then use um, for thicker ward products and a general purpose material. Right. So you recycle all of this? Yeah, all of this will be through the machine. All right, we'll put, we'll put a master batch with a pigment in it of mm. black to get it the right colour. Mm -hmm. It's not worth segregating because we have too many problems with contamination. Yeah, so yeah. black, and we use a lot of black anyway. So through to this machine, um, put the material in the hopper. Then we've got a strand in head here. Yeah. All right, so basically the material is being melted. It's same, exactly the same extrusion pressure, you know, heat and pressure through the dye up to um, a cutting unit. Air dryer there, dry the material off because if it's damp, it won't, um, it won't process. Straight into, um, into a box, ready for us to use when we do some black products. Nice. And beside here, we have um, PVC carrier strips. All right, so a flat profile. All right, through the water bath. Um, going through a, a press, which is cutting it to the right length and also punching the holes in there. Right, we put hell K type, K type markers go on there. Oh, so they're for your slide on yeah, markers, for the slide on marking markers. Armored cables. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nice. Our biggest runner is uh, green and yellow earth sleeving. So we're manufacturing enough to go around the world two and a half times every yep. year. All right. So it's uh, a poet tuner. We've got green on one side, yellow on the other side. Yeah, right. so this has back on down here. We've got a big bag of yellow panics. Yep. Yeah, so the green and yellow extrusion. You come through this machine here. Yep, so we've got the yellow extruder there, the green extruder there. We've got a ring around there, which is a striping ring, which puts the green on the yellow. I've always so, wondered how you did it. Yeah, so it's just, a, it's just a stripe that's going through. All right, we can do two stripe, four stripe, or six stripe, depending on what the customer wants. 100 meter coils, 120 meters a minute speed. All right, so it's a pretty, oh, yeah, you've pretty really got, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, 119.8. But all right, um, through this cutting unit here, which cuts it at every 100 meters, and then we'll have Lisa winding it, and then we pack it um, for this customer. 100 meter coils, so we have 100 meters. This is probably our biggest customer. All right, and. Um, you know, we, we, any labels a customer wants, if they want their own labels. Oh, so you can OEM it all as yeah, well? everything, yeah. But what about the rolls, Alan? You must do the rolls as well. Yeah, we do the rolls. The rolls are being manufactured over here. So again, the same principle as the coils, all right? But we're winding these by hand. Mm -hmm. um, the problem that we've had with an automated reeler before is it's layering it and also getting the cling wrap to stay to it. Mm -hmm. So we've always found it's easier for the operator to uh, manually um, operate this machine. So again, it cuts at 100 meters, and then we get the roll there. We've got a total of 11 extruders doing various parts. And um, this extruder normally does the bigger, bigger ID. At the moment, it's on quite a small one, which is eight, but we can go up to like 38 mil on a non-shrink. On a heat shrink, like we said over there, we can go up to a four inch 1016. So, um, what the operator's doing um, with this material is um, Anna's going to check the ID with the gauge, all right, make sure the ID's right, all right, and seal one end, all right, and then we put air in the other end. So, we inflate the actual sleeve just to keep it round just for ease of use for the customer. And then we wind it onto a reel. Lovely job. Yeah, nice, thanks, Hannah. Right, cheers. So we got 
the braid here. Um, Fiona operates the braid. So whatever length the customer wants, you know, we'll do, put it onto reels, um, you know, label up, batch it all up and send it away. So quite a big runner for us. Oh, we use tons of braid. Yeah. Let's go see it warehouse. Yep, let's go to warehouse. Um, so now we're in um, goods in and goods out. Um, most of the material now, or these boxes, are going to go out to customers today. You'll notice that we've got quite a lot of stock at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a bit of a nightmare the last couple of years, getting older material, mm -hmm. the prices have gone up. I think we've, whatever industry you've been in, you've been others. affected 100%. Yeah, we've all been affected. So we tended to make sure we've got the stock. So, you know, if our competitors haven't got it, we can jump in, you know, and make it, and hopefully make. keep these customers. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Birch Valley. Well, thank you All very right. much, Alfie, for your time. Thank you very Tom much, man. mate. Let's go. Cheers. We'll go for a point now. <laughs>